Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rathasa, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, this is going to be in transit. I'm on my way to a fellowship. Um, you know, the spirit has on me to um, make use of my time and uh, feed the sheep. And the lambs of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, as commanded. So, um, I let's speak um, to the Spirit what comes to mind. You know, what comes to mind, I'll talk on, you know, um, extemporaneously, you know, shooting from the hip, so to speak. But I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot going on, you know. Um, um, earlier today at work, we had a meeting at 1.30, you know, the, the bosses, we got a new general manager, you know, all of the bosses there, you know, they out there and they're talking and all this stuff, you know, usually around this time is when they usually tell you about um, stocks and sales and how much millions is being made and how can they save money and all of this different talk, you know, how the end of the year go, you know, how they be having these kind of conversations, you know, you know the annual, you know. But one guy keeps saying he, I mean, uh, one guy during his speech, he was saying how he liked the work and how the work is being done fast and, um, and stuff like that. And he's saying, one of the time he said, keep, keep the same pride. He said, keep the same pride that you have. Uh, 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 you know, he's speaking of being proud. I said, okay, well, this guy is going off right here. <laughs> but um, what I wanted to say was the third, the third, the third uh, gentleman who speak. You know, I, I perceive him to be a Edomite. You know, he uh, he said, you know, he's speaking as if the uh, as if the kingdom is coming back when the scripture says, "Where well, they shall seek peace and there shall be none." Okay, First Thessalonians chapter five and verse three tell you say, uh, "They shall say peace, and when they shall say peace, okay, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as woman in travail with child, and they shall not escape." So I, I prefer to listen to the scriptures. We ought to obey the most high rather than men. But he, he said something to the effect of, he was he talking as if, you know, because everything is, um, he's saying like, you know, everything is coming back. The industry is coming back and, and, and all of this different stuff. You know, as a matter of fact, before I left the house just now, they say uh, about 7,000 planes are grounded because they have a, they have like they have like a snowstorm going on in New York, you know, upstate right now. So I was like to my, I was thinking to myself, I was like, damn, seven thousand flights? That's a lot of flights. So I mean, clearly you can see a lot is going on. Things seem to be open, open back up. But you know what the scriptures say: when they shall say peace, then sudden destruction. But um, like I was saying, the, the, the gentleman said uh, he's speaking as if everything is going back to normal, which we know the scriptures say it shall be no peace. Okay, but he's speaking as if things is going back to normal. And then he said, and he said the best part about it. This this is why I'm bringing it up. He said the best part about it. He said we got the vaccinations. He talking about the vaccines now. <laughs> so I was like, oh, because everybody wearing masks. We having a meeting. They call the meeting outside, you know. So everybody we outdoors, you know. Everybody stop what they doing. We came outdoors. You know, everybody have on their mask, same way. Even they talking through the microphone, they talking and wearing masks, same way. So he say, the third gentleman who spoke, he say, he say, oh, and he say the best part about it. Like he talking about like, he's speaking as if it's a comeback now. The company having a comeback and things are, you know, getting back to normal. He say, which we know is not going to happen. But he say, he say, oh, and the best part about it, we got the vaccines now. We got the, you know, we got the vaccines now. Speaking of how, you know, when you're watching your television, all you're hearing about is the vaccination and vaccines, okay? That's all you're hearing about. That's all they're speaking about 24-7, okay? 
All they're talking about is the Royal Crown 19 and how bad things is in the U.S. And, you know, they, that's all. They just, they're just hyping this thing right through the ceiling, you know? But that dawned on me when he said, oh, the, and the best part about it, now we got the Maxine. So he's saying now, he's saying now, now they got the Maxines in his mind. He's thinking now, this Maxines now to help them get back to normal. So, and I was like, I was speaking to myself in my head, you know, under my mask. And I was laughing because I'm saying, there you go. I'm like, bingo. <laughs> you know, he said right out the horse's mouth. He let you know. Oh, and the best part about it, we got the Maxines now. So I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, you see, there you go. Because I was telling one of the co-workers who seems to be, um, you know, I share a little knowledge with him. On the side, he seems to be, you know, you know, you know. The scriptures say the um, the try the spirit. So, um, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I share one or two little things with him. So he came to me after after the gentleman said it after the meeting. He said, he said, man, damn, you said that, bro. He said, he said, because I told him one time. I told him say, I told him say, marvel not. I told him say, marvel not if they come to you and tell you say, uh, you gonna have to be vaccinated in order to continue working here. You know, I told him, say, I told him, say, marvel not if they, if they tell you, say, you got to be vaccinated to continue working here. So after the guy said, that, after the meeting today, the guy said that he came back to me and was talking, meeting was talking. He said, he said, man, you said that a couple weeks back. You, you said that to me. So I say, I, 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 I told you, bro, bingo. So what he's saying is in his mind that the gentleman who said that earlier, he said, as soon as they make this thing now, and not, they not even wait because it's gonna it's gonna become mandatory at some point, okay? But before then, these companies and stuff like that, they gonna let you know, man. Hey, in order for you to continue uh, working with us, man, you got you gotta be you you gotta get jobbed up, man. You gotta you gotta take the vaccination, you know. <laughs> so I was laughing. I was like I was like bingo. So I'm saying in my, I'm saying in my mind now. I'm, I'm like I'm like I'm like yeah. There you go. Whenever y'all call me or try to pull me, pull me in the office and talk, but uh, 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 excuse me, sir, you're going to have to um, uh, get the, the, the job, the vaccination. <laughs> and that's when you're going to get the biggest middle finger, you know? You're going to get the biggest middle finger right there and then. So when I was just laughing and it just dawned on me and I was like, damn, man. <laughs> hey. It just, it just, it just, hey, hey, the, hey, the scripture say that, you know, the most I say he's going to make Esau bear, man. The, I mean, I mean, hey, the scripture tell us, say, what's that? I think, uh, Psalms, uh, let's get that. What it is, um, Psalms, Psalms 64 and 8, I believe. Let me see if I get that. And they, and they shall make their tongues to fall upon themselves. Okay, let's, let's get, let me see if I can get that scripture right quick, man, because, hey, all they're doing is making their tongues fall upon themselves, man. Okay? That, that shit was just too funny, man. That was just too funny, man. <laughs> and you know who was laughing? Because <laughs> I was like, bingo. <laughs> I was like, man, oh, man. <laughs> this is Psalm 64 and verse 8. And it says, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away okay so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away so that's what it is man the scriptures say you know you know the lord said you know i have made esau bear you know so in these last days right now you know they're losing the information war man okay Surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his service. The prophets, man, Amos 3 and 7. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7, man. We see this, man. The Lord has given us given us the eye salve. You know, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 18. You know, bless the Lord. He gave us the eye salve to see. You know, ears to hear and eyes to see, man. You know, that we don't walk on in darkness. To what they have about Shimei Oshai. For taking me out of darkness and bringing me into his marvelous light. So, you know, we ought to show forth the praise as I tell you. You know, roughly paraphrasing um, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Okay? Because we are royal priesthood, man. A peculiar people. Alright? That's what it is, man. But hey, man. We're living in, just some, we're living in some interesting times, man. You know? Tribulation is on its way. 
and you got to be, you got to be, um, you got to be rooted in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. You got to be rooted in the Lord, man. You know? Hey, hey, that's what it is, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> yeah, but I just wanted to share that, man. But I got another story I want to go into. You know, um, as you can see, man, the serpent, the serpent is back at it again, and he's he's using um, he's using Eve. He's using our woman, the Negro woman, the so-called Negro woman. All right, you know, to uh, uh, the first uh, person in New York to get the job was a Negro woman. Okay, and then they show a Negro man. But it's like, why are they showing our people first more than everybody else? Because they want to persuade and convince our people because they know our people not into that. You know, even though they're not in this truth, they just, they, true, true, they, they have that, that's the spirit of an Israelite. You know, you know, the scripture tell you that uh, uh, um, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce him. Okay, we, we, we were made, we were made, uh, we were made upright, man. You know, but we seek out, but our people sought out evil inventions, but we were made upright. Okay, we wasn't made to be the wicked man. We were made upright, you know, but, 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 you know, we just, we just, like, once again, the, 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 the righteous, which is the Hebrew is the light, is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seducing him. Okay, see, back to the serpent again in, in the garden from the book of Genesis, you know, from, from Genesis means beginning. Okay, so I'm way back to the humble beginning, Eve, man, Eve, Eve made the serpent, which is a man, the wicked. Okay, she made the serpent beguiled her. Okay, and then she she gave Adam of her uh, of her apple. Okay, she was beguiled by the serpent, and right now that's happening all over again, man. They are using Eve, the so-called Negro woman, to try to get to our uh, to get to the men of Israel. Okay, so hey. Hey, let's say they should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Okay? You gotta you gotta you gotta walk circumspect, man. Okay, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Okay, this word evil, when you go into it, is a compound word. When you break it down, Eve meaning Eve meaning time and ill meaning bad, bad times. The scriptures tell you. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Acts, Acts 14 and 22. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. Roughly paraphrasing. So, a lot of tribulation is on its way, man. You know, a lot of tribulation. Okay. Jacob's trouble. Who is Jacob? The patriarch or the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel. Uh, J Jeremiah chapter 30 and 7 coins the time called Jacob's trouble. Okay. That's going back to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? They want to jab you up, man. They want to they give you the vaccination, all right? They trying to get to you, okay? So, hey, you got to stay prayed up, man. You got to stay prayed up. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17 tell you, say, uh, uh, pray without ceasing, man. All right, pray without ceasing, okay? Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 says, you know, praying always with all suffer, all supplications, okay, and perseverance of the saints, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, you got you to gotta continue to pray, man. You got to continue to pray. This is the time that we're in, okay? Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 43 and verse 30 tell you, you know, and when you exalt the Lord, okay, Put forth all your strength, because for yet, yet he will far exceed. Be not weary, because we can never go far enough. All right, so we got to put strength and be not weary when we exalt the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? But this is the time that we're in, man. This is the time that we're in. You got to stay focused and stay rooted and grounded in this word. Comfort one another, exhort brothers. You know, reprove what you have to, rebuke what you have to. That's what the scriptures say, man. I believe it's what, 1 Timothy chapter uh, 4 and verse 2, where it tells you to uh, be instant in season, out of season, okay? 
reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, that's what it is, man. This is this is what we have to do. We got to we got to do our due diligence, man. We got to we got to do we got to do what we got to do. Let me get it to make sure it was the right scripture. First uh, Timothy four and two. Let me read that. Actually, it's um Second Timothy. Let's let's get let's go there. Let's go to let's go there real quick, man. Because you know you gotta you gotta you gotta do what you have to do, man. You got you got you got to do what you have to do, man. All right. I'm driving, so bear with me here. But hey, we living in we living in some some interesting times, man. We living in some interesting times. I'm, I'm touching the phone, and for some reason, it keeps jumping out of place, man. I don't know. Thing, yeah. What is this, man? Why does it keep doing this? So lucky, bear with me here. You know what? Let me try another. Let me try another tab, man. Let's, let me try another tab. Right, uh, Second Timothy chapter four. Second Timothy, Second Timothy chapter four, and verse two. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort. What all long suffering and doctrine? This is what we got to do, man. This is this is our duty. Okay, the Lord sent us out. You know, the Lord said, "All power is given unto Him." Okay, okay, all power is given unto Him. It says that in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-eight. And verse 18. Okay? So the Lord said he sent us out, you know, to preach in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, and it says, Lo, I'm with you always, roughly paraphrasing. You know? And it also says in the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16, all right? Matthew chapter 10 and 16, where it says, Behold, I send you as a sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Why he said to be wise as serpent? Because the beast, the, the serpent is the is the most subtlest, the subtilest a um, uh, 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 beast of the field. The serpent is wise and cunning and crafty. Okay. So hey, man, remember what the scriptures say. Um. First Peter chapter uh, five and verse eight, where it says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walking about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour." Man, hey, that's what it is, man. That's what it is, man. But hey, like I say, man, look, you got this. You got this thing going on with uh, uh, uh. uh Dr. Fauci, where they keep him and his people, their colleagues, they keep they keep praising this uh, this 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 uh, this Negro woman, this young girl. Let me get her name and stuff like that. Saying uh, she had she had she developed the um, she developed the uh, she was part she took part in developing the uh, the vaccine for the Royal Crown 19. Okay. So uh, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Let's go there real quick, and I'm going to close with the lesson with a scripture or two, because I reach fellowship. All right? It says, uh, and this is, uh, what is Euro Euroweb.com, right? Euroweb.com, right? And it says, um, it says, Black Doc, Black Doctor, Black Doc, who helped develop you know, the Royal Crown Maxine gets canceled for all anti-black tweets. So now they dig up some anti, some, some black, so-called black tweets, which she tweeted, right? So this is, what's her name? Dr. Kismika Corbett, Dr. Dr. Kismika Corbett, viral 
Im viral immunologist, okay, and research fellow at uh, Maxine Research Center, right, at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases National Institute, Institute of Health, and the black woman who has been uh, credited for developing, you know, I'm going to say uh, Royal Crown Maxine is now being canceled on social media after all racially insensitive tweets resurface backlash backlash on on COVID's resurfaced tweets directly followed dr anthony falci's insisting that black people take the royal crown 19 maxine because a black woman helped in the creation okay so they say now this negroid woman helped develop the maxine right <laughs> So they 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 giving her um they 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 highly uh, um giving her credit and all of this different stuff like that, okay. But you know how the serpent roll already, you know they 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 gonna use her. They gonna say just like how they did Eve in the garden, just like how they had the the Negro woman with the syphilis experiment, okay. They gonna say she had a role to do with it. So they gonna say your own people had a role to do with it, you know. And they said they said so because of because of her because she had something to do with it. So in other words, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you should you should take the vaccination because a so-called Negro woman had something to uh, uh, to do with the development of the vaccine, right? That's what they said, right? But you know how the serpent works already, man. All right, but let's get down to the bottom part. It says backlash on Corbett's resurfaced tweets directly followed Dr. Anthony Fauci's insisting that black people take the royal crown vaccine because a black woman helped in its creation the tweets the tweets that twitter dug up show corbett's since deleted account she deleted her account okay beautifully black spell b l a q beautifully black posting some interesting messages, right? She posted some interesting messages. Well, let's see some of the interesting messages when she posted. All right, it says, some include her saying, I hope my kids have white friends. So she said, I hope my kids have white friends, right? No offense, but most of you niggas are niggas, nigger bitches. You know, they bleeping out the word. Say, most of you niggas are nigger bitches, right? Have the worst friendship circle is what she's saying. So it seems like she got a problem with her own people. All right, she said, I hope my kids have white friends. This is some of the some of the backlash she get now from, from her old Twitter post. And which she, she deleted her account. It says, no offense, but most of you niggas they have N star for I, I guess, star star for GG. Okay, and if niggas don't spell like that, you know, for a so called supposed to be doctor, okay, niggas, a nigga, uh, this this the one here I say, a nigga bitches, N star for I, another star. For G, I guess. G, A, a nigger bitches, <laughs> right? She real hood, supposedly supposed to be a doctor, right? Have the worst friendship circle. In another tweet, she said, "I will probably, I will probably end up trying to say probably, I will probably end up marrying a white boy." With a soulful voice. So yeah, where she's going with this, I will probably. I don't know what she mean by that, but I will probably, probably. I don't know if she's trying to say proudly, and that's some street, street Negro woman talk, you know, for 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 trying to say proudly or something. I don't know. Which she going off? If that what she mean, I will probably end up marrying a white boy with a soulful voice. Damn, <laughs> the nigga woman, Eve, boy, I tell you. Questions, making new plans in 2012. Laugh out loud. 
She also wrote, I like my white boys to look like they can surf and got the daddy stroke. Right? So she she envisioning she envisioning um, Esau man. Real, fine, but when you do, you know, say honey, Corbett has yet to address the backlash, but socialites thoughts. And that that's where it ends right there. It ends right there, but uh, clearly you can see, man. And this who they have, this who they, this who they was um, um, giving all the credit and praise to. Say, uh, this, 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 this Eve, this so-called Negro woman here. She had, uh, she got credit for uh, helping to develop the, the the Maxine for the Royal Crown 19, man. Hey, and they put her on the forefront. Now they find these tweets and they see that it look like she don't got too much love for her own people, man. Hey, hey, hey. The scripture tell you, man, never trust thine enemy, man. Okay. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. All right? Chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, man, for so I ain't rusted, so is his wickedness, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing, hey, I reach fellowship, man. I, I don't want to be too late. I'm just trying to complete this lesson, but hey, yo, man, the serpent is back at it again, and they're using Eve to try to get you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, to take. To take that 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 job, man. So hey, you gotta be circumspect, man. Hey, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully you were edified. I'm gonna go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Adawan Ratazada, as I say, Lord willing, Shalom.